Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Dark Side Detective. All right, we've plungered our uh, key to the other world, so let's go get it. He isn't noticing, because we're awesome that way. Up to the platform. Into the toilets. Hello, little rats. Thanks, Purple. D did you name the tentacle Purple? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. The keys label says control room. Alrighty. That seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Eh? Uh, what? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. Hey, shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. Told him he did. His black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts ain't for old Tam. Heavy sleeper he is. Book him, Dooley. Uh, I, I left my book at the station. Can I use these handcuffs instead? Get out of there, guy! I've seen what happens if you hang on for too long! What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. Nice rack. Ritual stuff. Looks like this place is was the scene of some occultic goings on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas, though, which is nice. Old Tam always was fond of Christmas. Pappy used to buy us all trains, and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. R really? People think twice about firing Old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you too. Uh, wait, what? Line one, power control system. Warning, virus detected. Uh, this seems to be, this seems some bad hoodoo. Tam must have installed an occult virus in the com on the controls. It's causing all these problems. Well, eject disc. An old floppy disc popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. Receive item cursed disc. Three and a half inches of innuendo laden evil. There's nothing left to eject. Alright. Detective? Yes? Have we tried turning it off and back on again? Which, the computer? I was going to say the train station, but what you said makes more sense. Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. Stay here, Dooley, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is old Tam meant to escape? That's... that's the point. Ah, oh, well, well, that ain't fair. Alrighty. Let's go see if installing the uh, virus on the other computer will solve the problem here. No thanks, I don't want to go back out there. Oh. I guess it says no on this one. Uh, really? Hmm. Tam ain't never gonna tell you how to fix that. It's his legacy. Yep. No point in putting that back in unless I do something to it first. Um. Hmm. Oh. That would be why I can only go this far. Roxa? Roxa, think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I could probably talk you, talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for, thanks. 
Oh. So what do I do? You need to clean the infection disk sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus, so each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infecting infected sectors onto clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I've made a backup. Just hit reset if you need to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Okay. Alright, that didn't quite work out. exactly doing this well, and I know that. Ah, okay, so I can flip it that way? Nope. Hmm. Not quite understanding this. need to take a moment. That's fine, detective. Come back whenever you want to try again. Alright, yeah, that just does. Okay, so I, I have to use it on her again. Alright. Okay, so I think what I need to do is... Get it so that there's just, like, a, you know, like, these three and that one that are... Infected and... Not doing so... I don't, I don't really understand this. Ah! There we go. Virus eliminated. Okay. Just click it enough, and eventually you'll get it. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult, but I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. You received item, antivirus disc. Thanks, Roxa. This outdated disc should undo this technomancy mischief. I think you need this more than me. I oh, know, I was just showing you how clean it is. Thanks? Oh, alright. Yeah, I've never been all that good at those types of puzzles. Uploading antivirus now. They're one-car trains, huh? Achievement unlocked. Ticket to ride. Great work, detective. You got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? N no Let's get this guy to the cells. Ha ha ha! Now you gonna get me there. Train ain't running. We, we, just, we just talked about how that was fixed. Weren't you listening? Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. Case closed. The music gets really loud at the very end. Alright, next up we've got Police Farce. Case summary. Today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. Ah, oh, seems, seems reasonable. Police Farce. You ready, detective? Huh? For McNugget's retirement party. The caterer has arrived with the with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. G gift? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry, I put your name on my gift. It's from us. 
pop down the music a little bit more. Maybe it reset my volume. I don't know. Seems a little bit loud. My notes from open cases. The downtown ghoulie man. A possibly undead flasher. Mirror Jane, a woman appearing in mirrors to other women who look exactly like her. Lichen Toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair, which turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe that should be werewolves. This is my life now. Case files. My folders of weird goings-on in Twin Lakes. This computer has been with me since the beginning. The budget won't allow for an upgrade. My trusty coat. Goes with everything from shirt and tie to sportswear. Dick Brickman. This is Twin Lakes FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, winning, bringing you the Dick Brickman Presents the Weather with me, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman, presenting Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks Schnicks, featuring me, Dick Brickman. When all this dark side stuff is put to bed, I'm going to see the whole world. I actually don't know what's in what's in these. The keys were lost before this became my office. This was a gift from my old mentor, Sergeant McDesk. My various attempts to file reports for the things I've seen. Hurry up, cake! Ugh, my spleen. Stop that! Ouch! Uh, nothing else? Alright, so, out of the offices. King's di office. Bust ceiling fan. Why is this broken? Maybe the motor is bust? I'll have a look at this later. You received item, a fan motor. There's a magnet in here, if I can find a way to pop open the tiny latch. Water cooler. A glass of cold, refreshing... Nope, this is warm. And oddly colored. Uh, you might not want to drink that. Coffee machine. Nothing beats that first cup of coffee. If only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Received item coffee. Java, Sweet Joe, Black Oil, Uncle Moo Moo's Morning Surprise, The Liquid Viper, coffee. I'm not thirsty right now. Oh, thanks, Detective. Might as well take another cup. How much can I give you? Is this unlimited? It might be. Huh. Y you don't you don't need to go uh, go to the bathroom yet? Do you think I'll have my own office someday? I hope so, buddy. I hope so. Bullpen? The king's office. Holy cow. The king and the chief. I guess these are the photos you get when you're married to the mayor. <laughs> pottery wheel. There's a space in here for... There's space in here for a pottery wheel? It's full of signed pictures of the king. Figures. Helmet trophy. The king won this for being the best diver in the on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Received item. Wow. Helmet trophy. Apart from the hole for the air supply, McKing's trophy is actually a working airtight helmet. If I found a tube, I could get this back in action. This one looks homemade. Best at not being McQueen. Best hair on the force. Okay, I'll give him that one. Fancy computer. His machine has an off button. Impressive. Supports backs. Fancy. This place is fabulous. One day you could be as important as this. You just gotta get yourself that first case. I solve cases all the time. Arresting a giant marshmallow man isn't a case. It's a result of too much coffee. 
If I'm seen doing that, I'll never live it down. It's a trophy. I would need an air supply before it could function as an actual helmet. Ah, thanks, detective. I'm gonna tear that cake a new one. Computer screen. Seems Murakami has set a new high score on whatever he's playing. Damn it, how am I meant to get better than him if you keep making me do work? Tell me that, eh? Officer Murakami's desk. That guy always has some reason to walk around talking to people instead of doing work. Fire extinguisher. The pressure seems gone. I should fix it before it's needed. I received item bust fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher with no pressure. Headphone wires. Broken wires. Murakami won't care if they're gone. Murakami's broken headphone wires. A reminder of what to get him for his birthday. Officer Wozinski? No talk, working. Friendly as ever, Wozinski. Go away. Debriefing room. Oh my. Fire! You're meant to say surprise, surprise, detective, not fire. Duly, the gifts are on fire. Sure, they sure are impressive. Pile of gifts. The gifts are on fire, nobody seems to care. Damn drunken cops. We use the same banner for every retirement. Budgets have got to be cut somewhere, detective. Do slashed budgets explain why the sprinkler system isn't putting out that fire? That's <laughs> interesting. Why don't you go do some detecting, detective? This is no time for reading whiteboards. I am going to devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. But, chief... Really? Is the cake really more important than the fire? Actually, who brought fire? We discussed this last time. No more gifts of fire. Goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. <laughs> Can of whipped cream. Hey, I wanted extra cream on my slice. I can 100% say that this is not something I expected to do today. You received item. Fixed fire extinguisher. Wow. Chief, there's a fire. Here we go. I've told you detectives before. I can't solve every little thing for you. Honestly, it's, I've uncovered a crime ring, this, and I've lost my gun, that, with you lot. Well, not today. I'm relaxing and having a drink. But, in silence, detective, in silence. I love all the booze we have at these things. But what about the fu- Keep your complaining to yourself, Killjoy. <laughs> Dooley, there's a fire. This party is on fire. Two days left to retirement, and I'm in a room with an uncontrolled fire. Just like the old gypsy woman said. A cork pin board covered in paper. 100% fire fuel. I need to get this in check soon. Whoosh. That's that taken care of. Wait, what's that? That urn. You mean our gift? Dooley, where did you get that? In that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week? Investigated. We investigated it. For gremlins. That seems like racial profiling to me. Dooley, he clearly had gremlins. Which you then bought and brought to the station. Well then, case closed. Dooley, the lid was burnt off. The gremlins are missing. And the station is crumbling apart. Like I said, case closed. Dooley! We need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But cake! Dooley receives item. Gremlin urn. We need to find those gremlins, Dooley. Detective? W didn't you see the fire, Chief? Of course, it was right there. And you didn't do anything? What can I do? If people want to re-gift the fires I got them last month, then let them. Wait, you were the one who was set those fires around the station last month? They were beacons of hope, all very metaphorical. They were real fires! Metaphors can be very real. Chief, why is McKing's office so much nicer than mine? You think our barely legal goblins and ghouls division should have a bigger office than the mayor's husband? 
I'm gonna go with, uh, yes? Just be glad you're not down in the basement. Thanks for supporting the Dark Side Division, Chief. Don't thank me, just keep the city clean of those Oogie Boogie men. And the Oogie Boogie women. And the non-binary Oogie Boogies. No discrimination in regards to Oogie Boogies. Except for the discrimination of keeping them out of Twin Lakes. Apart from that one, yes. I think there may be gremlins loose in the station. Seriously? We just talked about this. You have one job. One job! No Oogie, Bo Oogie Boogies in Twin Lakes. The station is in Twin Lakes. Get this situation under control, Detective. On it, Chief. Goodbye. No party for you two until this mess is cleaned up. Get to it. Ah. I don't understand why we're celebrating yet. I got two days left till retirement. We can't risk you not making it and us losing out on a party. Uh, I should be offended, but I do like a good party. No, you don't want uh, any uh, coffee? No. I'd be out of work if Chief Scully found me doing that. Oh, sprinklers. Why are the sprinklers broken? What's going on here? Takeout menus. In fact, I'm seeing nothing work-related in here at all. It's a party, guy. Relax. All right. But in the next episode, we need to find the gremlins. So, we'll get to that in the next one. See you then, everyone.